M0FXB. Let's update the firmware on my AmVault SI4732 receiver. This adds a signal meter and Wi-Fi. You can add memory channels and you can upload the EIBI database, which means when you're searching in the shortwave band, you get the names of the channels, not on everything, but on several thousand. So of course, this is at your risk. On the right hand side here, now I've added a photograph of the actual board because you do need to check which one you've got but so far each one that I've checked has the same model so it's the ESP32 S3 room one but if you look closely at the bottom here I know it's quite hard to see mine says N16R8 okay and that's the same on all my models of course you've got to take the four screws off the back to see that plate but um, that's quite simple We've also got the USB cable in. We are showing COM28, I'll show you that. And on the right here, click and download the top one here. I'll put the link in the description, just the top one here. And you get a zip with some bin files in it. So just right click, device manager. Okay. And get your COM number. Like so now, like I said, you're doing this at your risk. If you brick it, don't blame me. USB 28 and a COM port. So we know the COM number. This chart tells you which files you should be downloaded. So if you look in here, room 1 N16R8, that's the one I'm using. And I, I watched, um, you know, uh, Omet's video, Paul, and he used the O version because there's actually two bin files you can use. So I'm just going to have to risk it. Um, I feel it's the O version, not the Q. When you download here, you can download the O version or the Q. So when you look at the file that you've downloaded, and I'm just looking here at my downloads, click one lot, it actually starts with the word OSPI. OSPI. But another load, uh, I've got the QSPI, the Q. So I'm going with the O. Um, so there you go. Let's go over to that. And I'll put the link in for the chart as well. And have a good read. I've got the instruction manual here as well. So read it. Um, and this is the version of the firmware loader we're using is, is via a browser, which basically means you don't have to download it. It's via a browser. But there is the download version, but the browser version is so much easier. But like anything, if you don't get it exactly right, you are going to make the screen go black and unusable. Yeah, you could probably try and reload it all again, but please do not blame me. You are doing this at your own risk. Quite a good manual here once you've got it loaded as well. You can change the screen themes as well. And once you link the Wi-Fi, you can, you know, you can actually in interface with your device just using your PC or your or your browser because it uses an IP address 10.1.1.1, which, which does get changed once you've linked to your Wi-Fi at home, your broadband router at home. Now the EIBI that you upload once connected is uh, it basically says here the EIBI database also includes a utility station such as aircraft, beacons, weather, fax, maritime broadcast, and it's the most comprehensive database. So it's basically linking the name of a place, you know, a channel, to a frequency. So here's the tool opened up. We know it's COM28. So we're going to go and it's, it's turn on, plugged in, connect, and we're going to look for 28. There it is there. It's called USB JTAG serial debug. So there it is there. Connect. Now in OMETS, he did erase the flash. So I'm going to do the same as him. So after this point, <laughs> there is no return. And it did it really quickly. Yeah, it's done it. Everything's item idea. Then we're going to choose the file that I've already saved. So choose file. And I've saved it in my desktop under LMNO. OSPI and go back in there and it was the third one down okay ATS mini INO dot merge bin so I'm going to double click this and then once you do that and we'll get you the device so you can see it the screen does go black once you start to interface with it in this way you just go uh, you need to change this here so it says naught to naught x naught and it's a little x so naught times naught and then you go program and that's it now even if it doesn't work i will load this video i've done it once on my blue one which is oh i shouldn't really mess with that because i'm just right near the cables so i'll leave that actually um 
So yeah, charger battery and all that kind of stuff just to be on the safe side. It says 100% and then it does a little bit more. Sorry, I'm just like in my vest, but, but it's so hot out there today. We're doing like 30 in the UK. So wrote blah, 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 compressed. I think it goes a bit longer. You know when it's finished. I'll leave it live, fast forward it. I mean, it's free, it's well worth it. And I've been tinkering. It's quite nice having Wi-Fi. Hard resetting via RTS pin. I'm pretty sure that once you get to that, uh, that it's done. Yeah, let's leave it a few seconds longer. It means you can change the color themes. The whole thing just works better. And this, this model was working quite well anyway. Um, and you've got that one touch thing. So yeah, that looks fine. So I'm gonna unplug it, turn it off, then on. And when it comes on, if you've done it right, it comes up with that, okay? And that's a shortcut to the, the instruction manual. So let's just get this up bigger. I haven't configured the Wi-Fi on this one yet, although I, I've been configuring it on another one. So just press and it will go back to normal. And here we are, it's the usual, because it's bit, it's got the latest. Why have I still got that on there? They are lovely screens on these, aren't they? Press, and let's just check we're in, uh, we are in lower sideband. Ooh. Not loads going on, is there? Anyway, let's show you the Wi-Fi. We'll go to settings. So I think this is the one of the main bits, really. Settings. Go up to Wi-Fi. And now that's where you load the EIBI, but not yet until you've connected. So go Wi-Fi and then go to AP only. And it's at this point you get the red thing and it gives you the IP address. And when we go to my computer, you'll see that when you search in your Wi-Fi, one of them is called ATS Mini. Hit that. When you connect to that, then you put in 10.1.1 on the left into Chrome and it will just it will just suddenly go white. There you are. We've now connected to it. So we're actually communicating it. It's at this point, it's going to give us the uh, you know the opportunity to add our own Wi-Fi. So it actually has internet, because at the moment it's got no internet. So all you do is go to and there's your memory channel things. We haven't added any at all yet. Uh, but not now. We're gonna we could put in a username and password. We're just gonna put in my my SSID, M E R C U. And, and connect. Of course, you won't see my password. At the bottom, you can select your time zone because it will work all that out. We're going to put in London. Leave the theme as black. But you've got all these different colors that you can select. I'll leave it as black. I'll leave Zoom the menu. Um, that just shows more info on the screen when you go into menu. Click save. And it, what it does, it will give it a minute. It will reboot. You'll lose this page on the left. Um, but when it reboots and comes back, do a little network search and find the new IP address. You probably can look it up on the device. I'll have to try that. Let's give that a minute while it reboots. Okay, it did connect, but I did have to throw out my gloves there. Yeah. I did have to go menu, settings, Wi-Fi, and I had to go to that setting where it says connect after I put in that. But it, it's still, for some reason, working on the other one as well, which I didn't think it would on the 10.1.1, but that's okay. Because the main thing now that we can do, which is important, is that we can upload the EIBI thing. So we go press, and you you think, well, what's that? I don't know. Go Wi-Fi, go up. Actually, I've gone too far back now. You just turn it on and off because I just want to make sure that um. And when you boot up, it does give you the IP address, which I think is nice. And there's a little name there you can use as well. So right, menu, setting, like so, and then go above Wi-Fi, it says load EIBI. And we have mentioned this, and look, it's such gonna fight, they're all gonna start loading up now. Now, you think, well, what's that? I've never even heard of it, the EIBI, but it's basically someone has taken the time to add loads of names to to frequencies, radio stations. Now we're not talking it's not going to come up with a ham radio call sign on shortwave. This is just shortwave, medium wave, long wave type stations all around the world that have been linked to frequency. So that when you're searching through now, you get to see the names. Now, it doesn't mean you get to receive the stations. 
because they might not be near you, but the ones that you do receive that are near you, you're going to um, you're going to see their names, and it's like RDS but for hobby people. So I think it's excellent. And again, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm hiding in the corner because I'm sort of out in the sun. I'm doing my exercises, so I exercise three times a week with light dumbbells. And um, so I want to keep fit and I definitely do not eat Coke and McDonald's every day and chocolates and sweets. I, you know, otherwise, I don't think I'd be alive now. I would be very near and I wouldn't be able to walk properly and I'd be breathing heavily and I'd be like, why am I gradually killing myself? So what I'm going to do is you'll see I've already done it. If I press the silver button. Like so, let's make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And it's already given a, a name there. It's given a few names for that frequency look. It's sort of scrolling through. So you press, go to band, and I selected all. And then as we go down, there's one there, sound of hope. Not sure what sound of hope means. But let's try seek. If we press, go down to seek, and do a backwards turn. Maybe the sound of hope means you're hoping to find something. It means someone tell me if you know, because I've not seen that before. But look, C H U. And you'll see that we've actually got a proper tuning dial now, which actually move and is realistic. It isn't just pretend. If you press and hold, press and hold the knob, oh, let's come out of volume, press and turn to the left, look, it highlights so we can go to a bigger increment. Let's try seek now. Not sure if that did it, but anyway, let's just go there and we're going to... I don't, I understand we're not finding much. There's one, US Air Force. So, yeah, there's one there. KM, KM70. So, you know, I need to spend time actually, actually using this. Uh, the next one, let's show you the theme. So we go press. If we go down to I mean there's lots of settings here. We're gonna to go to where is it? Must be in settings. Settings. We've done Wi-Fi. There is calibration there, it's fine tuned. RDS FM region. U layout. Press that and then go to S meter. See and now we've got the S meter. Do that again and there it is there. S me, yeah. let's try a different band. Band. Let's do. Let's do that. Why not? Eleven meters. Not sure what it will find on. If it will find any names on eleven meters, maybe on. On ten. Let's go to the different colors. You've got band width there. Look. Settings. Zoom menu, when you select that on, it, look, it puts the menu there. So when you select things in menu, it sort of puts it underneath the frequency. Uh, what else? We're going to find those different colours, aren't we? Settings, scroll direction, sleep, sleep mode, load E, I, B, I, we did that. About, brightness, calibration, where's the colours? We had them earlier. Theme, there it is, theme. Default. And then you've got these different themes. Quite like the orange, it's like Yesu, isn't it? I think the one that looked the nicest for me was actually this one. It looked very, I suppose a bit like my, my Bofungi type radio, it's black, very colourful, isn't it? So if we just minimise here, you'll see that I can still talk to this via my PC and please remember to hit the subscribe if you haven't already so memories we haven't done any yet config about Wi-Fi and all that time zones which it has remembered look even knows we're on space 
It, it look here and a little red tick zoom to menu. It remembers that status. So it's, I've tried to add memories using. Um, and remember, we're talking to this via the Wi-Fi. Um, it's not. I'm not seeing that it's letting me do it using this screen, but let's add a memory using the actual receiver. And I have put a link to this receiver in the description because it's the best one, AMN Volt. And I've got three. So let's press and we're going to turn until we see memory and then we're going to press and we're going to click add. OK, and then we go down. Let's go to a different band altogether, uh, which we'll let it time out. Go on then, time out. Press, we'll change the band a minute. Let's go to 20 meters. No 20 meters there? It's funny how I can't see that. I know it does 20 meters. Look, you've got all these medium waves. 40, 30, there's 20 there. And we're already on this upper side band, so it remembers that. Not a lot going on today. Normally it is good. These do receive well. Anyway, press, then we'll go to memory, press, and then we're going to go add. Okay, and then do another one. Change the frequency first. We just go to where we were. Memory. Okay. Yeah, again, and it goes. So now, hopefully, if we refresh the browser, shouldn't that be there? Yes. <laughs> now, can we change them once we put them in? No. But I reckon one day we will be able to, because in the manual, I'm sure it said you can change it. So I put all the links in. You can see this is cool. There's way more to this than I know. If we look at the manual. Right, OK, I've been thinking for ages, but there's your broadcast radio. Have a little tune round and look, check out. Make sure you read the menu, the instruction manual. Lots there. All the links are in the description. Please hit the like, subscribe. Bye.